know who you are in Jesus. Now let me tell you another secret here tonight. A person who didn't come to his senses yet does not know who he is in Jesus and doesn't know who he is at all. He doesn't know who he is. He just knows he's he existing. That's all. Coming to your senses meaning that you came to repentance. I don't only speak about giving your heart to Jesus. I speak about coming to your senses. A person that has given his heart to Jesus cannot be used by God. But one who changed, who's been changed by God, can be used by God. Give God a hand. Amen. Only one who came to his senses in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay? Paul, an apostle. Now, Paul is writing this by the Holy Spirit through him, and the Holy Spirit got no problem in acknowledging the appointment of Jesus on Paul, and he himself recognized himself as being called by God. So he's with boldness. He says, Paul, an apostle, not from men, nor through man, but through Jesus Christ and God the Father, who raised him from the dead. Give God a hand. He knew very clearly who called him. So he had boldness. When you know what God has called you to be, who you are, what you're supposed to be, and what you need to do in life, you've got boldness. You've got steadiness. You know who you are. No one can stop you. At that point of time, Paul faced lots of persecution, even from the church, because the church didn't, they didn't trust him. But that didn't let him changed his course. He was firm in his call, knowing that Jesus has called him. Amen. All right? No one can be used of God if he didn't come to his senses yet. When did this man, Paul, come to his senses? When he walked into the master. And he was struck blind. Blindness was a good thing for him. After that, God sent the disciple to touch his eyes after he fasted for four days. He was touched by God and things fell from his eyes. But you know, his eyes was never the same again. Never. He had weak eyes all his life. Like Jacob was walking crippled all his life because he walked into God. Jacob was such as, as a bad man who needed to come to his senses. I told you before, he was a mama's boy to begin with. It's not a good thing to be a mama's boy. I mean, it's not a good thing, I mean, to be a mama's boy. It's not a good thing for a man to be a kitchen man, a kitchen man I mean. So he was not a good man, okay? Say a kitchen boy. A mama's boy. He was not a good man. He was a cheat. He was a liar. He was a deceiver. He could not be a good man. So he could not be used by God. He had to come to his senses. Give Jesus a hand. He had to come to his senses. After he cheated his brother out of his birthright, after he lied to him, is it a good thing to lie to your father? Huh? He lied to his father. He cheated his father. Together with his mother, sure, he deserved death. But as people like that, when they come to their senses, heaven is full of people who came to their senses and who's been washed off their sins. But God is something about God. He always leaves a mark on you to remind you that you walked into him. Hmm. Jacob walked crippled for the rest of his life. Paul went through life with weak eyes. Samson came to his senses, the strong man. Could Samson be used by God? No. He had the gift. He had the power. He had the anointing. But he was actually useless because he didn't come to his senses yet. Satan is your anointing. It's not to say if a man is anointed, he can be used by God. You get many anointed pastors today whom you cannot even trust. They are called by 
God, but you cannot trust them. They didn't come to their senses yet. I know pastors who's involved in business. I will not trust them with no business. They cheat. But there's anointing on their life. There's a call on their life, but they didn't come to their senses yet. Samson had a great anointing. He had power like few. He had the gift of God and a call. What more would you want? Ask the guy, he said, what more do you want? There's one thing that you're lacking. You need to come to your senses. Give God a hand. Say to God, there's one thing that all people lack. They need to first come to their senses. And to come to your senses is God's grace. Samson came to his senses. He had the power, he had the anointing, and he had the call. But because he did not see God in his holiness, he could not see the purposes of God. Only when he was deceived by a wicked woman, the Lilla, and he gave away his secret covenant that his mother and father made with God. Not him. And his eye, he lost his eyes because of that. Only then he came to his senses. Now he was ready to be used by God. Now he lost his eyes. That's bad, huh? Did he ever got his eyes back again? Uh-uh. Say to God, that is a sad story. And that remained a sad story. He never got his eyes back. But the call of God, now he could see. He said, now that I'm blind, now I can see. Because now he, saw, he, know, he knew God in his holiness. Give God a hand. Amen. Now he knew God in his holiness. Now he could see. Although his eyes were gone, he could see. Sad for me that he didn't get his eyes back. That's always sad. But even with, even the loss of eyes could not stop this man who came to his senses by doing the will of the Lord for his lifetime. Give God a hand. <clears throat> Jacob had to come to his senses. He wrestled with God, with Jesus, one whole night. If he did not do that, and after that night, it was actually when he got crippled, it was a sign that he wrestled with God and a sign that God heard his prayer and a sign that he came to his senses. Many will say, it's a curse to be crippled. But unto Jacob, it was a blessing because it was a clear sign that he came to his senses. A clear sign that he wrestled with God. And a clear sign that God's going to use him now. I mean, say to God, heaven is full of bad people who came to their senses and has been forgiven of their sins. Give God a hand. <laughs> you know, once I heard someone say, many, a couple of years ago, they say, no, this church of yours, there's only people with problems in this church. This is exactly what the church is for. I mean, to draw the people who is in a state where they are ready to come to their senses. Give God a hand. Amen.